having diabetes 90 years ago was a fatal disease. And we have a big history here at Stino Diabetes Center bringing insulin to the Scandinavia. Diabetes was really an area where a lot of exciting things were happening. New therapies were being tested and there was progress, but there was also a major need for improvement. We now have tools in our toolbox which can actually change the life story of type 2 diabetes. And that's actually a unique opportunity that we have here at Steno Diabetes Center in Copenhagen. The uh, production of, uh, of insulin was started in Toronto and the Danish Nobel Prize winner August Kroh and his wife Marie Kroh, they went to Toronto in the 1920s, got the recipe and brought it back to Denmark. And they together created what became Steno Diabetes Center Copenhagen in 1932. So here at Steno Diabetes Center, we have uh, adults and children and adolescents with diabetes. We are very focused on creating an environment and a culture more like a communal center where the patient come here, they have a lifelong disease, and it should be a welcoming and warm place. That's what we're hoping to achieve. That's also what characterizes our clinical services here. We have a nephrologist working, uh, we have uh, orthopedic surgeons, we have uh, podiatrists, and of course we have uh, experts in clinical diabetes, but also in uh, complication research, devices, diet, prevention, health promotion, and uh, counseling. So. It's a whole ecosystem that we hope to provide uh, here at Steno Diabetes Center. We had the unique possibility to bring researchers very, very close to the clinic. There is a very, very short route from the clinic to the uh, research department. And that is, of course, of the utmost importance if we want to develop new treatments or to test new suggestions. Also, vice versa, it's very important that we have the possibility of bringing the patients to the researchers so that we can actually present the problems in a direct and person-to-person uh, -person manner. So the conglomerate of patients, researchers and clinicians is what makes Steno Diabetes Center a great place to work. The focus of my own research is in complications to diabetes, particularly cardiovascular and kidney complications. It's a very prevalent problem with kidney disease and diabetes. It's also very serious and it's very expensive. But we have found new markers in the urine, in blood, that can predict who are at risk. And we have also been successful in finding new treatments. Now we want to combine the biomarkers and the treatments to find personalized treatment for kidney disease so we can identify who needs treatment and who can avoid treatment and thereby avoid side effects and save costs. I think prevention in obesity and diabetes is central. One of the unique things that we have here at Steno Diabetes Center is actually physical exercise by prescription. We have a really dedicated group of Therapists that do physical exercise with the patients, even patients with heart disease and chronic kidney disease, they can do physical exercise in a secure environment where they get used to it so they can do it every day out in the real life by themselves. We also have some great medical therapies that we can use and GLP-1 is a really interesting peptide. It's a hormone that originates from the gastrointestinal tract which we can now use for our patients with type 2 diabetes and obesity. Treating type 1 and type 2 diabetes has changed dramatically with diabetes technology over the years. We have now more than uh, 700 patients treating with an automatic insulin delivering system, which is amazing. And now the most important thing is we need to have a system to analyze the data and look into data together with the patients. So actually Stenopool is a platform where all devices uh, optimally should be uploaded to in the clinic rooms and in the patient's home. It will be the same way they look into data, whether they change from one device to another. But on top of that, we also now have collection of data which can be used for research and quality improvement. So we can follow people on that 
type of pumps, how are they uh, doing regarding glycemic control, etc. We have a very clear ambition to be a global leader in diabetes and complication research, but also for developing new and progressive uh, treatments and uh, care pathways. Everybody are proud of being here, being part of a mission of trying to do something better for people with diabetes. And when we work together in that spirit, we can provide better research, better management. We do have uh, some cases of type 1 diabetes in my family, including myself. And I can't imagine anything more meaningful than working with diabetes. My hope for the future is that we can become better and better. With my PhD students, I use as much time as possible to get them inspired, to do more research, to take the science into the patient. And that's really the meaning with science, and, and I love to see their development.